We're going to be talking about the energies for this week beginning May 27th, 2024. Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. First and foremost, get ready for some activity huh? in another realm. I know that sounds so spooky, but something is happening here. We've been talking about for years and years how there are energetic shifts going on. That's not new. But I think it's going to be new to you. I think this is going to be a new experience in how you perceive it, how, what you allow. Okay, I'm hearing that. What you're opening yourself up to, what you are committing to. Now, a lot of people who watch these spiritual channels, a lot of times you're trying to use spirituality to get something that you want. You want love, you want a career, you want financial situation to be better. What you need to be focused on now is flipping that, okay? That is what I do with my channel. That is what I do in personal readings. You can come and ask, you know, your question, whatever that may be. But be prepared for me not to just stay on the surface with you, but to help you get to the root, the spiritual cause, perhaps, of what's going on for you or whatever your spiritual growth moment is and how you can come through that and in turn start manifesting the things that are right for you on your soul's path at this time. Now, as of the recording of this, still ahead of schedule for the most part on standard readings, book those at Angel Souls 444. Dot com. Okay, so there's that part for live readings or live uh, teaching sessions, which we do one on one. You could do how to connect with your angels. If you want to work with a specific archangel, you can do that. You can book that by emailing me or a live reading session. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Those spots are limited. So if you happen to see this video right as it's getting published and you want one, you get on in and claim one of those spots, okay? But what I do is I help you get to the actual spiritual backing, which is going to help you in the long run, especially as things really start going down <laughs> in this world. And these energy frequencies, things that you're opening up to, some people are tearing open. And what I mean by that, I almost get the image of someone getting sort of torn out of their body. Again, that sounds so dramatic, but what I mean by that is think about somebody who astral projects, but they didn't mean to, okay? They kind of get shoved out of their body and then shoved back in, and that's not the way, right? You don't want to be doing that to yourself. You want to do things a little more intentionally. This is also a time of, like I said before, commitment. Like, what are you committing to? If you are someone who gets stuck in a rut, you know, focusing on the details, of every day. I'm guilty of that <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, you're going to get stuck in the details and never get any real work done. So to me, this feels like the energy of uh, take, a, take a step back, take a broader look at what your life is. Again, sounds dramatic. Hang with me, okay? Um, not just focusing on, oh, this person upset me or, you know, I didn't get my way for this, that, or the other. You feel me? All right, let's get some cards going on here. We'll get more of the information for you. And yes, you want to know this. You want to be armed with this information. Surrender. Oh my gosh. I, the feeling I get <laughs> when I look at this, I love this card so much. So again, it's saying pull back from the drama of others. Drama keeps coming out of my face. Uh, so we might want to hang on to that. Uh, yeah, it could just be me, like, not using a, an expanded vocabulary. But usually in a reading like this, when that word keeps, or some word keeps coming up, it's significant. And what, what do we as humans, what do we associate with drama? Something very superficial. Usually something petty. Something that's out of our control, even sometimes. This act of surrender is surrendering to a higher power. It is surrendering to the divine and not trying to run every little detail of your life. As a matter of fact, the details are going to get you in trouble. They're going to have you looking down when you need to be looking up and being aware, right? 
Miracles. It's telling a story. It's building the story up. So when you surrender, that's where the room for the miracle lies. That's when the miracle can come through. And yes, we're all on our soul's contracts. It's going to be different for each and every single person. That's why I do the services that I do. Uh, so we can tune into you specifically. But the miracle here is this miracle of release, right? So finding out, it's not even that you're getting solutions to things necessarily, but you're realizing this, this one thing is taking up too much space in my life. Or I'm worrying about something that in the end is not going to matter anyway. How many times, this example just popped into my head. I'm a, a person who's really big on... Not being wasteful, right? I think of like the environment and not just dumping something and going and buying something new if something can be repaired. That's 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 the good place I'm coming from or I'm trying to. <laughs> but I'll get into it and I'll end up buying different types of things to fix something. And in the end, it didn't even turn out to be fixed anyway. Sometimes you just got to let it go. Sometimes you got to say, listen, it, it's no longer... I'm going to release that. I'm not going to keep trying to put energy and effort into it. Now, I'm giving the example of like, you know, something tangible that would be broken, but this could be applied to a broken relationship, a broken dynamic with where you're taking your day-to-day -day life. You know, if that's a career, uh, the people you surround yourself with. If you know that some, it, it, listen, let's talk about the friendship thing for just a moment. If you have people in your life who invite you places last minute, or you show up and they barely speak to you, or everything's on their terms. You don't really have room to be yourself. Those are not friends. And if they're uh, putting this idea over you that if you don't please me, I'm going to ruin your reputation, God sees everything. God will take care of that, all right? So don't let your life be cluttered up. That's a big message here. Okay, so we have, I'm, I'm not turning this card around. It's sacred sexuality. So again, this could be a connection with someone else, uh, making sure that that's healthy. Or it could be for some of you out there, you thought you would never find a divine love partner, like a true love partner. And by some miracle, when you surrender, okay, when you surrender, it's not necessarily to love. It's first surrender to the divine and allow the divine to show you right? What, what's going to make you happy, then it can come on in. Now, this can also speak to sacral chakra healing, work with Gabriel. Some people like to work with Shamuel, whoever you want to work with, by all means do that. But make sure you're working on that, that sacral chakra because this is where you store emotions. This is where some would say this is the seat of the soul. This is where your creativity lies. Okay. So something's getting fired up <laughs> this week. Man, you are being so divinely guided. It's time to it's time to start reaching out to the higher frequency beings that are here to help us who have come to be here and, you know, as you know, I work with angels. So, it's time to do that and less of the give me give me the dramatic story. If you know what I mean. Okay? get one more card here and then I'm gonna break it down into dailies we'll get that out there so you know what to focus on each day what to be aware of okay. follow the leader oh this is interesting in the context of these other cards this is such a time and you know every reading that I do here is actually timeless. Our human brains like to categorize things. So people like to take a message and say it was only for this week. You can tell yourself whatever you want. Okay whatever soothes your brain go with it but I'm just gonna let you know that these are actually timeless. <laughs> okay and you can you know they go beyond this week. You might have already been experiencing this but this is definitely saying take our lead. And this would be angels and archangels of God's purest love and light. Take our lead. And it's not going to be what you think. And that's the problem with the ego consciousness. The ego consciousness is trying to make everything fit into a neat category for our 3D world, right? Our third dimensional ego consciousness. That's not 
all of consciousness, okay? So we're actually limiting ourselves. And this is a time where you're breaking free, you're breaking open, you're realizing, hey, it is important to prioritize meditating first thing in the morning. Even if it's for 15 minutes, meditate. Set your alarm so that you don't oversleep, okay? Because it's easy to go back to sleep. But, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself like that before you even start your day. Make sure you're meditating before you go to sleep at night. You need to be doing this spiritual wellness practice because you're being called up. You're being asked to step into a role. Even if that role is being the best mom you can be or the best dad you can be or the best auntie or the best, you know, friend or love partner, the best coworker, the best friend. That is what is part of this spiritual warfare that you've been hearing about, that we've been talking about, right? <laughs> That's going to become, and already has become, a, a big buzz term. So be careful of people who are just trying to monetize off of that term. What's really going on here is that when you get distracted from being a good person, when you get distracted from, and what I mean by that is like um, someone's trying to intentionally upset you so that you maybe lose your temper with them, or you're competitive, be careful with the competitiveness. If it's in a fun spirited kind of way sure we can get away with that but if it is you like something where you get angry if you lose that's a spirit attachment that is a spirit attachment we're going to be talking more and more about that as well because so many people in their attempt to be spiritual in the trendy way the only thing that they have accomplished is opening their energy field and letting stuff come in and because they didn't really connect with spiritual practice, they don't know what to do with it. And now they're in trouble. And now we are in trouble because those are the people going around pretending like they know things. Those are the people going around pretending like they got all the answers. Oh, as always, discernment. But let's leave it there for this weekly part. I'm going to break it down into dailies. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to be subscribed. And I'll catch you next time. I'm sending you so much love and take care.